happened. Virginia's attorney general has now gotten involved in the NCAA's decision to exclude James Madison University from bowl game consideration. Mm. The Dukes, they are 10 and 0. They are ranked number 18 in the latest AP Top 25 poll. And if you're not up to speed yet, JMU moved from a lower division to be in this top tier, but they haven't made it through the two season transition window, making them currently ineligible for a bowl game. We've got Virginia Attorney General Jason Miaras joining us live here on the DMV Zone. He's been backing the team up with this, so this is a huge deal. A lot of people want to see JMU move forward in some sort of bowl game here. You've been advocating yourself for JMU to be bowl eligible. Tell us why. Well, I mean, I think the first thing is to recognize that these student athletes, uh, these players at JMU, they've done everything right, everything asked of them from two days from early morning lift sessions and practice and film review, and they have won everything in front of them. And what you have is an NCAA that's denying so many of these students, many of which aren't going to be able to play at the next level this opportunity. I think the first thing is just a gross injustice for a team that has gone 10-0. and 0. They, they, have, uh, they are now ranked in the top 25. They're ranked ahead of traditional powers like Miami and Clemson. They're the best college football program and team in the entire Commonwealth of Virginia. And you're having the NCAA deny them the ability to play for a bowl game and a championship for really an outdated rule that I view as anti-competitive. Um, is an unreasonable restraint on trade if you want to get into legal terminology. And so we've asked the NCAA repeatedly. Uh, I like to say it's never too late to do the right thing, but they continue to really show that they're a broken institution, that they don't have the student athletes' best interests at heart. And so my job as, as the Attorney General of Virginia is to make sure to aggressively represent the interest of Virginia. James Madison University obviously is one of our largest public universities with a large following. But, but a bowl game, and particularly a New Year's Six bowl game, a, a Cotton Bowl or Fiesta Bowl, the national exposure that brings to the school, the revenue that that potentially, a $4 million Absolutely, plus yeah. uh, payday for a New Year's Six Bowl game is unimaginable. And uh, we want to make sure that Jamie, which is having this generational, these type of undefeated seasons happen maybe once every 10, 20 years, that they get an opportunity to maximize those opportunities in front of them. The NCAA is saying no. I'm saying you better say yes or we'll see you in court. Jason, when you take a look at this now, I am actually a JMU football alum. I played there before we got right. quite this good. Yes, it is. That's why I'm joining you yeah. right now. When you take a look at this JMU community, I mean, today we've got college game day there. They'll be there for the game tomorrow. You've got this undefeated Cinderella dream season. From all of your research, what does this season mean to the community, not just Harrisonburg, but all of Virginia? Well, I mean, I think it, it shows that JMU's arrived on the national stage, and you cannot undersell what this does, even if you're not a football fan, what this does for this basic marketing, the idea that JMU gets to be elevated on a national stage on ESPN, one of the most, most watched uh, uh, cable networks on the planet, and to have this level of exposure, you can't even quantify that. And so I think it's so important to realize the opportunity there from an institution standpoint, but also, again, for these students, and athletes that have done everything right, have this magical, unbelievable season that just two seasons ago, they are playing at a totally different division, a totally different level, to come in at the FBS level, to go undefeated, to be ranked in the top 20. I think if they win this weekend, they'll be ranked in the top 15 and be able to deny that to them. It is both incredibly joyous to see that, but also frustrating to see that the NCAA with these archaic rules are blocking their ability to achieve their dream. And so, you know, I'd like to point out for everybody, you know, JMU, if a team was to beat JMU, that win would be considered one of the six wins that would make you bowl eligible. So JMU is good enough for if you defeat them on the field to count to yours being bowl or championship eligible, uh, eligible but not good enough for JMU themselves when they go 10-0 and 0, uh, not to be able to achieve that dream. I just yeah. think that's a gross injustice that the NCAA is doing on our, our student athletes. That's an interesting point. A, a bit of a Cinderella story here. Yeah. And, and I don't know, maybe some people I've heard have said that this decision to not let them be eligible for two two seasons is a bit archaic, the sure. idea of it. Sure, so. sure. Yeah. It, yeah. It's been in place yeah. for a long time, but uh, rules are in place to change. Yeah, yeah. exactly. All right, Jason Miaris <laughs> there joining us here on DMV Zone. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.